Okay, I just got out of Navika Med Spa and I got the VI peel. So I went over with my consultation. She did an extraction of my nose only because I had a lot of blackheads and unfortunately that's the only way I can remove them. So she just did that extraction. Then she wiped my face completely down with 100% acetone. That's to remove any oils and anything else that's on the skin. And then she went over with the VI peel. I asked her if she could do my decollete as well and my neck and my eyelids. So she did three passes on my face and at the very end she went once over my neck and my decollete and just lightly over my eyelids. So now I'm done. I'm to keep the VI peel on my face for up to four to five hours. So right now it's three o'clock. I will wash my face with the provided cleanser around eight o'clock and use one of the post towelettes. I'll take the towelette and scrub my face and then lightly go over my neck and my eyelids. And then an hour later, which will be nine o'clock at night, I'll use the second post towelette and do the same process and then I'll go to bed. So today is Thursday. It takes seven days to completely peel off. Um, so Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, I won't see anything. But for tomorrow morning, I'll wash my face with the provided cleanser, put on the SPF and the moisturizer. And then at night, before I go to bed, I will have to use the um, last post towel towelette, scrub it on my face and lightly go over my neck and my eyelids. And then I'm done with the towelettes. So from that day forward, I only use the moisturizer and the SPF and I'm to stay out of the sunlight. So I'll keep, you know, keep it going and I'll probably stick pictures in between because nothing's gonna happen on day two. That's what she said, which is good because I have to go to work. And um, so since I'm off the whole week after, we'll see what happens there and I'll do my best to remember to take video and pictures. So that's why I'm kind of dark right now because that, I guess that's the color of the um, actual peel itself, the chemical. It is like a dark brown. So that's what my face looks like this. But um, yeah, I don't feel any burning because you can see the darkness right here. That's the peel. I don't feel any burning. I actually feel the cooling sensation. And she said because that's due to the phenols. The phenol gives like a slightly numbing and cooling sensation. So all right, I'm going to get going and uh, I'll see you guys later. All right. Okay, you guys, it's now eight o'clock. So I've kept this on for a good five hours. I'm going to use whatever, well, the stuff that came inside the kit. So I'm gonna insert pictures somewhere. But um, overall, I'm going to cleanse my face with a little bit of this cleanser. I was advised that these two cleansers that come inside of the, the kit will last me for two weeks. So a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to wipe my face vigorously with one of the post peel towelettes. So let's get going. That's for the facial part. So I'm going to use the towel for my neck and decollete. And um, just put a little bit of soap on the rag. It's definitely on there. Should have wore a different shirt, but <laughs> it's okay. I'll make it work. Okay, so overall, I don't feel any singing, any pain. I, it, my skin is very soft right now. So now I'm going to open up the post peel towelette 
and rub vigorously. And I believe this has retina A, yes, retina A and vitamin C inside of the tablet. <laughs> all right and that's it and um i will see you guys tomorrow night <laughs> okay you guys i almost completely forgot that an hour later which is now nine o'clock to do the second post um Towelette. I'm so sleepy, but right now I can say my face is itching like it's itching here here up here and around the jaw It's just it's starting to slightly itch not like irritate where I got to go like this But um, it is itching so I'm gonna do the last towelette for today, which is Thursday All right, I'm gonna look at the mirror because it's kind of easier for me. Oh Matter of fact, let me wipe this first. Okay. So these things are really packed full of. What I was trying to say was those packets are really full of extra solution. So please be careful that it does not drip on your vanity. It will stain it and your shirts. And then after this, my instructions are just to go to sleep. And then in the morning, I'll just wash my face and put on the moisturizer and the provided sunscreen. So uh, that's it. I'm going to go to bed, y'all. Good night, good night. See you tomorrow morning, which is Friday. All right. Hey guys, it's almost 2.50 in the morning. My face is itching so bad. So I just woke up. All I did was use the cleanser. I'm about to put in this um, Hydrocortisone 1% moisturizer because my face is itching so bad. So when is my time to actually wake up and um, get ready to go to work? Obviously, I'm going to have to cleanse my face again and then re-put this moisturizer back on and... Um, put on the SPF, but my face is itching so freaking bad. Oh gosh, it feels so much better. Oh, instant relief. Obviously, somebody gotta wake up at two, almost 3 a.m. You know, it's 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 serious. Oh my gosh. Oh, it feels great. Good night. <laughs> well, whatever. Good morning, good night. All right, good morning, you guys. It's 5.30 in the morning. Well, a little after 5.30. I'm tired. So what I just did was re-cleanse my face. I put more moisturizer on and I put the sunscreen on. And um, I feel so much better. This hydrocortisone and this moisturizer is a godsend. Goodness gracious. So um, I'll probably come in with another video later on throughout the day because I'm gonna obviously have to go to lunch and I have to put more sunblock on. So um, I'll show you what my face you know, looks like during the, before noon, probably around 11 o'clock or 
All right, I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. It's Friday. Okay, so I'm at my desk at work, sneaking on the phone. So I had to add a little bit more sun, suntan lotion um, because my lunch is actually at 12 noon and it is 11.04, so I want to give it time to penetrate my skin. And as you can see, it's only red because I rubbed it in. But other than that, everything's fine. No itching, no nothing. So I will see you guys later on this evening to do my last towelette. All right, enjoy your Friday. Bye. Hey you guys, all right, it is Friday evening, September 9th, day two of the VI Peel. This is my last towelette. I asked my esthetician what can I do to stop this from itching so bad. She told me to wait 10 to 15 minutes and put on the hydrocortisone moisturizer, which I will do. And anytime throughout the peeling process, if I have any discomfort to use the moisturizer, which I will. So the main process of the main purpose of me doing the peel is to not only control my naturally oily skin, but to minimize breakouts and um, hopefully eliminate them all together. I don't just have hormonal breakouts. I have breakouts just because I, I just always have. So I know it starts from within and I'm continually in that process of um, clean eating and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to bore you with showing you with this because you've already seen me do it twice. I will keep you guys updated during the duration of the peeling process, either video or photo. And I wanted to see what happened um, at work today. So I have some slothing of the skin here. And after cleansing my face not too long ago, I have some here too. So this is good for day two, right? <laughs> but this is what my skin looks like. Yep. All right. So enjoy the rest of your Friday and good night. everybody okay it's about like 7 30 in the morning it's september 11th and it's day four as you can see i'm having to well a minimal amount of peeling i'm not from what i research a lot of people have a lot more of healing than me on day four but it's 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 coming along so as you can see it's a darker tan here and here's my new skin i'm not having any inching or any discomfort i don't have anything under here under my chin my neck or my decollete yet so there's nothing there yet but I'm really happy of what's going on and I can't wait for the process to be over. So again, it is day four of post VI peel and yeah, here's an up close look. Cool. All right, you guys later. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is September 12th and I'm still peeling as you can see that my eyelids are peeling, my eyebrows. I'm having slight itching here, but not enough to put the hydrocodone. It is tight right here, but all the skin is gone. So this is all new soft skin. I do have a couple breakouts right here. So I'll let you get a real close look. Oh, and once again, I still don't have any peeling on my neck or decollete. And from researching, I think this may be the last, if at all, if it peels at all, because she only did one swipe. Okay, so here you go.
in his my eyes. So it's good. Hey you guys, all right, it is September 13th, day six. It is 9, 10 a.m. And I want to quickly go over and show you that from here on still has to peel, here on, here on, and here on still has to peel. So I'm ready for it to be done. Let's look. And my eyelids right here has been itching like crazy, so that's the only spot that I've been constantly putting the hydrocodazone on. Other than that, I did get some mild stinging right down here for my new skin, so it was it was bearable. It wasn't anything I really could do, but um, my skin is very soft and luminous, and I'm just ready for the peeling process to be over. At night, I don't put any moisturizer on. I go dry face. Mainly throughout this whole process, since I've been in a house, I haven't, I, I didn't really need to put the moisturizer on. I did. All right, you guys, I just came back from my med spa to check up, you know, like a follow-up appointment, basically. So um, I told her what I've been doing, and then she said that um, right now, since today is day six, um, September 14th would be day seven. But in their mind, really, from Thursday to Thursday is actually a week. So uh, uh, September 15th, right, it's um, Wednesday, and it'll be eight to me but seven to them so what she wants me to do basically is two times a day starting today put on a moisturizer even at night whereas before I wasn't she wants me to do that because that'll help bring the pH balance of my face up my skin up and it'll help uh, to heal faster so then she said if Thursday but she predicts that it will all be finished but just in case um, while I'm showering with the steam and warm water and small circular motions with the cleanser on my fingers to gently just help the rest of the skin slowly slough off because I mean I have somewhere to be Saturday so I'm trying to you know do all that I can but she's happy with the progress I'm happy with the progress and I just wanted to give you guys an update so everything is good I'm just impatient <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna um, I'm on my way home right now so excuse the driving but other than that I will check in with you guys later. All right, bye. Hey, you guys. All right, it is still day six, but it's nighttime. I just finished cleansing my face. I will put the moisturizer on, and I just wanted to show you the dramatic difference. It's just a little bit of peeling here. As I was washing my face, I did feel a lot of the skin coming off slowly, and it is a complete difference. So I really believe that tomorrow it is right on cue, but as my esthetician did say, wait Thursday. So it'll be a complete week in the esthetician chemical peel world. So um, I do have dryness here, all around here. It's just dry, it's not tight or anything. I still have the breakouts. But other than that, um, I'm fine and I really like the results. I'm looking in the mirror, sorry. But um, yeah, so we'll check again tomorrow to be official. Well, no. Well, official for me, day seven, but well, well, you know what I'm talking about. Good night, good night. <laughs> Gosh, look at the peeling still. Big chunk of skin. everybody okay so it is Thursday officially day seven I just want to go over quickly I did not have to do the force rub method it actually sloughed off by itself the tenderness and the breakouts around my chin went away it's just dry now um, I have not put on any moisturizer or anything I just cleansed my face and I wanted to show you that all of the um, peeling on my face is done and look how luminous my skin looks my skin is very soft Everything goes on very smooth. I do have peeling from my neck down still. So I don't know if you can see that, but I do. Other than that, I love the VI peel. Um, I would definitely do this again. Patience is definitely a virtue, but um, I like the, love the overall results. And I, I said, uh, thank you for watching me on my journey.
<laughs> and yeah, just be patient. But most of all, keep in contact with your esthetician if you have any types of concerns or um, just questions, you know? Other than that, all right. Thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe below.